In this short video I would like to explain s some aspects of pixelated image, lookup tables and thresholding and segmentation and analysing morphometry of an image. So the first thing is to pick a suitable image I'll just drop this onto image J and I'll minimise this. This image we can see here if we look at this top bar is 512 by 512 pixels in size. So the image is made up of 512 pixels along here by 512 rows. That gives a total of 262,144 values. So this image is made up of over 262,000 numbers. And often with image analysis or image processing, we want to extract those numbers. So let's have a look at, in a bit more detail at this pixelated image. If I use the magnifying tool, which is up here, to zoom in on part of my image, you can see it's made up of these little squares. These are pixels, and a pixel means a picture element. If I move, if you look up in the, in the bar up here as I move the mouse, okay, you'll see some numbers up here, and I move onto the image. If I go to a very dark area of the image, you'll see I get a low value of 20. If I move to a very bright pixel, you see I get a value of 213. Now this is an 8-bit image as you can see here. And in an 8-bit image that means that each pixel has a value that ranges between 0 and 255. So 1 to 255 plus the zero, which counts as a value, gives us 256 possible values for each pixel. And what we do is we colour those pixels dependent on the intensity value. So in this case, as you can see, the pixels have different shades of grey, which are determined by the intensity. So in this image, there is 8 bit image, there are 256 values, we're using a grayscale lookup table and therefore this image has 256 different shades of grey. I could change the lookup table if I go to the image menu, lookup tables, let's say I chose a spectrum lookup table. Well, that's quite a dramatic change and what it does is it uses specific colours for specific intensities and that can be quite useful at times sometimes not so useful if we were to zoom out again using the magnification tool and the alt key to zoom out and we see our image in a, look up, in a spectrum lookup table let's look at a few other different lookup tables one of my favourites is the smart lookup table which is quite nice for showing the brightest points. Uh, maybe we want to just change the lookup table so that we have very few shades, let's say just six shades. There are only six colours here. Maybe 16 colours. Sometimes quite useful. But I just want to go back to grayscale for the moment and you can see that MHJ offers us a huge array of different lookup tables. So we'll go for a grey lookup table. Now I want to focus my attention on the very brightest nuclei. But perhaps I want to bring out these, I want to sh maybe measure the shape of these individual nuclei here. That requires me to identify them in some way and we use that, we use thresholding as a way of doing that. So if I go to the image menu and I choose adjust and then threshold, you'll see that what pops up is my threshold window. Now there's a histogram showing here and it's perhaps worthwhile to spend just a, a minute or so talking about the histogram. Let me find the histogram option. If I go to analyze histogram here we have the same histogram, just a slightly different scale. 
What this tells us is the number of pixels at a particular intensity. So you can see here at 255 at this range. So imagine there's a grayscale running here. We'll switch the threshold off for a second actually. Let's look at the histogram again. Uh, we'll find that under Analyze Histogram. We have a grey scale here from 0 to 255. The histogram is telling us that most of the pixels in the image are down in this region here, a very dark region. There are very few pixels, if any, which are actually 255. And in fact, if we look here, we see the minimum value in this entire data set is zero. The maximum value is 253. So there are no values that are 255. We have no saturation. As I mentioned earlier, there are 262,144 pixels in this image, which is shown here. And the mean intensity of all of those pixels is 39 plus or minus 36, which is our standard deviation. So I now want to select intensities which will pull out these endothelial cell nuclei. I go to my adjust threshold and what I'm going to do is if I pull this all the way down you'll see that here what I've selected in red is every value from 0 to 255. Now we know that a lot of these pixels here are just dark background, we don't want them. I'm going to cut the threshold to about here, which will give me, let's say just about there, which covers these two nuclei quite nicely, and this one, this one, and this one. So let's say I was happy with that threshold. I would then choose Apply. And I've now created a segmented binary image. Binary image in that the pixel is either white or black, and black is what uh, is, represents the, the selection. Now having selected my pixels for measurement, just going to remove my threshold now, I then come up to my Analyze menu, and I want to analyze the particles. But before that, I want to set my measurements. The area and shape description. So I really want to know the shape. This is a morphometric measurement which measures shapes. So I'm going to get the shape descriptors and I'm going to analyze particles. Now in this window here it offers me the opportunity to classify which size of objects I want to count. Now I don't want any objects which are less than 20 microns squared because these would just be small points, small individual pixels that you can perhaps see in the image here. I don't want to confine my measurements to objects of a particular circularity, so I'll just clear that. And in my results, I would like to see the outlines of the objects which are selected. And I'll click OK. So what pops up now is my original image, here's my analysis of that image, and you can see here this object here, this, endoth this endothelial cell nucleus is number 13 in the data set. If I go to try to find number 13, here we are here, it tells us that this object has an area of 71, its perimeter size is 34, its circularity, which is derived from the area and perimeter, has a value of 0 0.7, and in circularity, a value of 1 is a perfect circle, and a value closer to 0 is a straight line, there is no shape. This is the aspect ratio, which is the maximum and minimum uh, chords, lengths uh, in the object and roundness is uh, calculated from the area and the, the maximum length chord in the object. I 
you can see that I have the full set of objects. Many of these objects though are huge, so for instance this object here is obviously a, an accumulation of several nuclei. We don't want that. But you can see that there are some nice clear objects, 15, 16 and 18. Here 15, 16 and 18, which we can use to we can use these numbers to give us a, an average size, or dimension or shape of our endothelial cell nuclei.